Madiba, can you tell us a bit about the trouble in 1977 when the journalists came and took that photograph of you? We can see you were very angry there. <laughs> yeah. No, actually, I wasn't angry. Uh, what uh, uh, disturbed us was what the authorities were going to do after the journalists had visited us. Right. Because uh, they used to treat us very tough. But when there was an important visitor coming, mm. then they would relax. They would say, oh, no, no, you don't have to work uh, <laughs> continuously. You can just take a walk, uh, if you want to, around the quarry. And then we knew that a visitor is coming. Right, right. But once the visitor is gone, oh, Christ, <laughs> the same uh, cruelty Yes. would uh, be mobilized. And uh, they were difficult those days. So you uh, knew it was a propaganda? Yeah, no, no, we knew. And uh, we didn't uh, uh, compromise at all. Mm. We challenged them throughout. Mm. And uh, we knew when a visitor was coming, mm. when they were now treating us nicely. Right. But we never relaxed with them. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Can you tell us something about your struggles to get letters to family and friends. We know they were censoring letters and a lot of letters didn't ever reach the people yeah, who wrote to. Well, at first we were allowed to write and receive letters once in six months. Right. And, uh, but of course we fought against that uh, for quite some time. Mm. And, uh, and the methods we used, they really could not tolerate. And uh, so we eventually won the battle. Mm. You, you learned Afrikaans In while you were on Robben Island. Yeah, Island. that's true. And did you learn Afrikaans so that you could communicate with them? No, that's true. It and... was easy, you know. I spoke Afrikaans better in jail because uh, I could practice it every day. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, the orders. They uh, are not highly educated, many right. of them. Right. And they received many letters with complaints uh, from uh, various people. And uh, they would then come to me to help them. That's how I picked up Africans very quickly. Goodness. Because they were actually being cheated. Right. Yeah. Right. You know, the extent uh, to which whites cheat other whites, I didn't have a full measure. Right. until I was in jail, and uh, I had learned Afrikaans. Then I realized how cruel they were. Now, Christo Brunt was different, though, wasn't he? Oh, yes. No, that, that's true. Did, did you become a friend of his quite quickly, or did that happen over many years? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you know, Brunt was a very interesting youngster. They would say something to him, the big chaps, hmm. confidentially. And then uh, he would come to us and make sure that I'm not there. <laughs> and uh, if I'm in another group, then he would tell others what they say about me. Goodness. But uh, they were talking to people like Kathrada. Yes. And uh, when he goes, then uh, they tell me what they were saying. <laughs> so he was like a, 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 a microphone for you to hear what That's they were saying. That's right. That's true. But did you know that they were mic uh, that, that they had microphones and were recording all your conversations? She was. I only knew it? when I came, left jail. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because I used to go under a tree. Yes. And uh, and then uh, relax there, think I'm free, and yet uh, they had a microphone in the tree. In a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Madiba, I want to show you a picture of yourself. Those tomatoes. Oh yes. Can you tell us something about your garden? No, I had a garden which I look after, looked after and uh, when the tomatoes were ready the waters would be very friendly yes. and come and get some tomatoes from the garden <laughs> and uh, now I still remember that very well. What other vegetables did you grow? Chilies, I think you grew as well. Yes, chilies and um, what was the other one which was uh, favorite? Um, a cabbage. 
Cabbages. Yeah, yeah, and cauliflower. Okay. Yes, I had to, and then onion. Yeah. Now I've talked to Mr. K, and to Mac Maharaj. They tell me that you used to fertilize this garden in strange ways. <laughs> no, I don't want to talk like that. <laughs> no, I didn't want an answer. <laughs> I don't but, want to talk like that. <laughs> I want to show you another photograph. That's Minister Kubi Kutsia. Oh yes, that's right. Now. That was a gift to you, that, that brief Yes, day. it's a pity man had died so early. Yes. And uh, then uh, this chap, uh, what do you call? What is his name? Um, she was, I know him very well. Was he head of the prison services? Yeah. Yeah. You remember him at the Zaldina? This no. chap. Let me show Zelda, this guy. I used to know him very well. Uh, is it, no, no, it's not Flock... Um, no. But he's African speaking. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Neil Barnard in the middle there. Yeah, quite. Did you keep that briefcase for a long time afterwards? Oh, yes. <laughs> but I don't know what happened to it. Okay. <laughs> Last question for you, Madiba. Another photograph. That's the Victor Fester house, and that's the first house you built in Kuno. I see, yes, that's right. I can see how similar they are. Could you tell us a little bit about your decision? They moved moved me from prison. Yes. And isolated me. And I stayed in a house like this. Right. So when I reached home, I built a house like this. (laughs) Exactly the same. Exactly the same. I asked for the, what do you call it, for the plan. Yeah, and they gave it to me. And I built it like that. (laughs) Yeah. Until I had uh, a little bit of more earnings, then <laughs> I built the bigger, the, the bigger one. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda is saying to me, I must ask you, why did you use those plants? Uh, why did you want your house in Kuno to be the same? Is it because no, it's because, because uh, although it was meant as a punishment originally, yeah. I grew to love it mm. because uh, the rest of the prisoners were in a building for prisoners. Right. And uh, <clears throat> that isolation and putting me in a house uh, was something of a privilege. Yes. And when I went back home, I built exactly the same house. Yeah, right. the same right. plan. Thank I you. asked the prison to give me the plan, which they did. Yes. And yes. I built that house. Thank you. But uh, when my position improved, then I built a modern house. Thank you. I, Zelda is telling me I must ask you about the swimming pool. But I, <laughs> I also want to ask you, when you left uh, Victor Fester, uh, you had a surfboard that you took with you away from Victor Fester. It's listed there on the inventory of what you took away. And, <laughs> so the question is, why did you have a surfboard at Victor Fester? Well... I, I can't explain it uh, <laughs> properly, but it was really uh, to keep me occupied right. and to remind me of prison life when I'm outside. Right. Yeah. Madiba, one last question. There's a, a question about moving from Robben Island to Polsmoor. When they told you that they were moving you, did you try to resist that? No, but I was very sorry because I was leaving my colleagues behind, right. and I was going to stay alone. Mm. But uh, when I reached uh, Victor Fester, uh, after a few weeks, I, 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 I loved it. Yes. Yeah, yes. I loved that uh, isolation. Right, and the house, you liked the house. Oh, yes, I liked the house. That's why I built the same house yes. uh, at Kuno. And, so, and did you swim in that swimming pool? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, I did. Thank you. Thank and, you very uh, much. The warders were not allowed to swim, but uh, they would have a they would have a guard, and then swim. They'd come and swim in your, your yeah, pool. Yeah, we would swim together. 